in the next one. One more tip I'll just say is that you can leverage on diversity, equity, and inclusion, which is they are very big on in the UK, in many Western countries, but in the UK, which is what we are focusing on. Because if you are one of the top candidates and then they are trying to fill maybe a diversity peak for sex, which is, or ethnicity and several other things that is around the diversity peak, then that could tip your, the scale in your favor. But of course you need to get to that top, maybe three or top two or something like that before that then becomes what's name. So the organizations don't do that. Some people, not in the UK really, but not, not very common really, but they, won't, they can't say, oh, we are looking for a female Python developer. They can't say that. But at the same time, the organization has an objective to say they need to have a balance in terms of, of um, gender, right? So what would happen is that if there are three of you at the top, then they can say, oh, because this is a female, these three qualify, these three are okay and all of that, but we only have one role, then they can give it to um, the female. So lucky you women in tech, right? You have more opportunities than us men in tech at the moment, right? But that's because oh, historically, the men in tech had had the opportunities. But what I argue sometimes is that, but it wasn't me that had the opportunity, it was other men that had the opportunity, not me as a man myself, right? But the point is that this is something you can also leverage on to your own advantage at this point in time, because it's the, it's the type of world that we are in. Uh, leverage on it is, doesn't mean that you should not be skilled, you should not be experienced. It is leverage on it means that because you also then have that, it can tip the scale in your favor. How we can help